Hello YouTube family. Um, today's video is going to be my first ever fragrance. Hello. Yeah, and Eli's making a special appearance again. Um, today's video is my first ever fragrance review and um, it's going to be about Jo Malone's the English Field Jo Malone's English Field collection. Um, I got two of the uh, the scents, two scents, the Honey and Crocos Cologne and the Oat and Cornflower Cologne. All right, now what I'm going to be reviewing first today is the Honey and Crocos. Um, okay, let's talk about the bottle first. So the bottle is really pretty. Um, yeah, it's not the it's not the um, traditional Jo Malone bottle because this is the limited edition um bottles they come out when they have their limited edition they always come out with different bottles <clears throat> so um <clears throat> so this is like um the top is i think this is yeah the top is glass i think um so it's this smooth shiny top but then at the bottom they have like a textured bottom uh the the almost like the third of the bottom um, like a third of the bottle I mean is um, textured and it's like a nice touch to it it's it's unique so all right now um, this retails for seventy dollars for 30 mils from what I understand um, when Joe Malone released a limited edition line they don't come in the big bottles I think they only come in this 30 mil size, which I don't mind because I like this size better as well. You can just put this in the purse and, you know, reapply throughout the day. Because we know that Jo Malone colognes, um, they're not that beast mode. Like, they're very subtle. Um, if you ask me, I think Jo Malone's, uh, jo Malone colognes are made for you to enjoy it. So, um, it's a bonus if other people, you know, can notice it. But most of the time... Um, it's for you to enjoy it. So, um, so it says on the website that the notes are honey, crocus, English lavender, and almond milk. Now, what sold me to this is the almond milk and honey because I am a gourmand person. I, anything gourmand, I love it. So, most of the time. So, the honey and the almond milk, I'm like, yeah, just a just reading the notes I feel like it's gonna be something rich and creamy and um, you know delicious so when I first got this I have to admit I was kind of disappointed because this is this is the first ever realistic scent that I have in my collection what I mean by that is this is so like the smell is so like realistic like it evokes when I first smelled it it evokes nature plants um, meadows um, garden so um, it's very vegetal like right off the bat when I sprayed it on um, first things that came to my mind was honey and um, plants so it's natural smelling um, it this is a very interesting scent in a way that I know crocos is a flower in English lavender I don't smell the English lavender like I'm familiar with lavender smell but I don't smell that at all um, all right let me just spray this to to remind uh, remind me of the scent I have a different um, perfume on today but yeah, I've worn this a lot that I know that the reaction or my impression on this is consistent now. Um, all right, so when I smell this, it reminds me of like a plant. Like I know crocos and English lavender are flowers, but it doesn't smell like the flower per se. It smells like the the stem, the stem of the flower. Like just imagine, like those flower stems that are um, that are juicy and um, like there's a lot of moisture in it. Like if you crushed it or if you you um, pinch it, like it would give that 
very um, nature-like smell, like very vegetal smell. That's what it smells like. And it's like, um, it's made creamy. Yeah, it's, it's kind of creamy. Like, it's made creamy with, by the almond milk um, and honey. Honey is there too. But whenever I spritz this on, the, the, th uh, the, the imagery that would come to my mind is I'm sitting um, in my garden, like in front of my garden or surrounded by flowers. And then um, it's not just flowers, but there are also bees and bugs uh, around the flowers. And that combination of smell is what reminds me of this cologne. Um, again, at least for me, it's not the flower, but it's the stem. Like if you crush the stem and then, you know, that, that sap comes out um, and smell that, that's what it smells like. And um, yeah, for some reason, it's that with bugs or bees, like flying around that flower. So. And this um, is pretty linear too. Like it doesn't change the smell that you get when you first spritz it on, on me like that vegetal earthy scent that I get when I uh, spritz it on. Um, that's what I get all throughout the four to six hours that I could smell this on my skin. It doesn't change, it doesn't really have a scent story and uh, most of Jo Malone colognes are like that. Well, it's only in the cologne concentration so you don't expect it to last for the whole day. That's why I'd rather have this in this size so you could just put it in your purse and you know reapply it whenever you have to yeah if you want like interesting colognes go get this one um, like what I said there's nothing in my collection that's like this um, this is I, I I'm glad that I bought it because you know I'm, I'm I have this as part of my collection now but I don't really reach for it like uh, I'm a gourmand person like and, uh, I love tobacco vinyl Diptyque Eau Duel. I also like Prada candy. Um, I'm not much of a floral person. Um, yeah, so you might want to take like a sniff of this. Again, you won't be disappointed though because it's a very unique, really unique scent. Um, I'm sure that if, if you get this, this will also stand out from your collection. If you're like me, that you're attracted to sweet scents, it doesn't e it doesn't, it's not even sweet at all. Like, I feel like the honey just sort of like tones down the vegetal scent that this evokes. Um, so again, two words that comes to my mind when I wear this, it's very realistic and very unique. All right, so, um, it might be a weird um, comparison, but sit in the middle of a garden. If you want, get a flower, like pinch the stem of the flower, like a soft flower, not the rose, because the stems of the rose are really hard. Those flowers that have like really um, um, juicy, juicy stems, um, I think nothing comes to mind, but a crocus maybe because it's in here. So pinch it and smell when the sap comes out. That's, it smells similar to this. All right, so I hope I gave it a fair um, review and description. If you have questions, I'm more than willing to answer it. So just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot more reviews coming up. All right, all right, take care and have a good day. Bye.